Hey, it's John from Adults Have Toys 2. This video is sponsored by nobody. I, I do this on my own. Um, but I am looking at a D-Brand case. So today I'm taking a look at the D-Brand Atomic Grip Case. And I specify this is not sponsored because D-Brand is a very prolific sponsor. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's nice that they're going out there and supporting small creators. But this D-Brand Atomic Grip case that I bought for my S22 Ultra is bought by me, for me, just because I thought it was interesting. So normally when I get a phone, the case I put on it is from Spigen. I think that's how you say it. And they serve me well. But it looks like D-Brand's really excited about this case, so I figured I'd pick one up and give it a try. So not only is this video not sponsored, but I also went out of my way to not look at any other videos or reviews about this case so I can give you my pure, unfiltered opinion. So all disclaimers aside, what do I think? It's a case. I mean, honestly, it's just a, it's a very thin case, which I think is what they were going for. It's, it's grippy. The, the texture kind of reminds me a little bit of the old OnePlus phones. It's, it's textured uh, with some grip, but it's not like a silicone. It's not uh, tacky. It's not going to get stuck in your pocket. It'll slip in and out real quick. And it is very thin. On the inside, it, it contacts all the way around. Uh, one thing I did like about Spigen cases is they have a little bit of an air pocket in the corners. This contacts all the way around in all the corners. And while it is thin, which I appreciate on a phone as big as this one, it still doesn't fit into my Razer Kishi controller with the case on. Uh, even if I pull the rubber out, it still won't fit in there. So I do have to pull the case off to be able to use it in my controller. What's good is it's, it's very easy to pop out of the case. I don't have a problem doing that at all. Now, what's bad is it's very easy to pull out of the case. Um, hopefully that doesn't cause any issues during a drop or something like that. And I also noticed that the sides of the case seem a little flexy. If you pull back on them, they pull back away from the phone pretty easily. I don't think that's too big of a problem because really what's keeping the screen off the ground is these rails on the top and bottom. And they're raised up and that's what's gonna keep the screen from contacting the ground if you drop it or place it down on the ground. The real concern is that if during an impact, there's enough pressure to pop it out of the case and then you would have a problem. The buttons still have a tactile click, but they're not loud. I've actually had some cases that get really loud for some reason. And the speaker, the USB port, and the S Pen are all accessible from the bottom, though the S Pen is a bit recessed. On my Spigen cases, there's a little bit of a cutout that makes it a little bit easier to get to the S Pen. And as far as looks, it's, it's a black case. It really doesn't stand out that much. Um, it has these kind of grippy rail looking things on the side, which are kind of nice looking, um, but it's really pretty boring other than that. Now, whether or not that's a good thing is entirely up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to like. I'm just here to tell you what I see. So on that same note, should you buy it? Well, if your main priorities is a thin case that is grippy, it's not gonna slip around, then yeah, it seems like a good option. If you want something that's a little flashier or has a little bit more protection to it, then no, probably not. And I think if I do any more talking about it, I'm really just kind of wasting your time. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if it's a case that you would consider, and if not, why? But until next time, never stop having fun.